you know the this is such a new area uh, for this part of the world uh, that it is something that was needed to be brought to this part of the world so a couple of years ago i decided i saw the opportunity uh, in the education sector that this um, the subjects of technology were so sadly lacking and um, it needs to be implemented at the school level at children level to prepare them for the future so we started to experiment and we started to see what is out there and what all can we bring to the market uh, and the idea of coded minds was born um, and looking at how rapidly technology is evolving and how we use smartphones every day and facebook and instagram and all this of the world you know these will be these are daily daily user usable things in our lives um, yet we don't teach the children the basics about them and i don't mean the operations of them but actually the language behind them everything we operate in the world today be it a car be it a smartphone be it an airplane be it everything has a program behind it has a software behind it and this software is a language which is the language of coding now coding has itself multiple languages we ourselves at coded minds have about um, you know 35 different subjects that we teach and uh, these subjects are, are are constantly we are curating them and improving them in house all the time so um, when i saw the gap i saw the opportunity i started experimenting with uh, you know uh, some family friends actually and uh, started asking their what they their children learn at school as well including my own uh, uh, as well in my own uh, personal experience and then i found out that there was a massive gap in the market and that's why basically we do what we do at coded minds yeah uh, coded minds uh, teaches robotics it teaches uh, different coding languages uh, just as an example python scratch uh, it teaches web development it teaches you uh, how to make a robot uh, you know game development instead of playing a game children make the game and then play it so it also the idea of coding is that it teaches you critical thinking it teaches you logic you know it it makes your creativity um uh, soar a little a lot more so these are all the very very important aspects of of uh, what we do at uh, coded mind yeah, actually uh, they are the future uh, content creators uh number 2 even if they do not want to go into this is software development or something like that these are tools that you would need in everyday life anyway so it is like you know in in history we learn math science and all that we will need to learn coding uh so this is an extremely important aspect that eventually i want to be implemented in the ministry of education in the national curriculum and that is the goal uh, basically once that is done i know that it is implemented in the schooling system and it's not just an after school activity you know like let's say learning ballet or playing football or things like that this is actually part of the curriculum then i think we will be in a very strong position we have we have received tremendous feedback uh, uh, over the last year that we have been act active uh, as an entity um, and over the last couple of months especially we have received all the relevant licenses uh, that are required and uh, a lot of the schools who we partner with um some of the bigger schooling systems around the world has now started uh, asking us to teach these subjects on their premises to their children so the number of uh, school signups is going up rapidly every day and and you know inshallah the plan is for us to expand in a, in a lot of other countries uh, as well but this is home and that's where we want to be it's an excellent question it is an ap excellent question and that is that is one of the major goals uh, actually um you know uh, to to coding is coding is itself a language actually you see so it's not english it's not any other language it is a language on its own right so people uh, the children uh, adults whoever they all learn this language it is they're learning a language per se now to translate that when you teach yes absolutely we actually uh, funnily you said that in the summer we had an uh, excellent summer camp where we we taught about 200 local students um you know and we had to we have to hire arabic speaking teachers so when they are teaching the subject they can also te you know translate it into arabic and you know uh, deliver the deliver the actual content to the children in different languages
So yes, it is something that a challenge that needs to be overcome. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's fun. Uh, funny you mentioned that. Uh, Last year, you know, uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman actually, you know, at the Future Investment Initiative, and I, I, I happened to be there. They they introduced Sophia, uh, the handsome, the 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 famous robot, uh, and, you know, and and gave it citizenship, right? Yeah. Uh, but you know, I, I, the point here is that you know this is we cannot stop this. This will happen, you know, and and uh, in a funny sort of a way. You know, Hollywood has shown us through many movies, but it's actually true. This is actually happening. Things are changing. Technology is rapidly, rapidly evolving, and as a result of it, artificial intelligence is taking over. You know, things that you and I took for granted, you know, in the future we will not even need to do anymore because it will be done for us automatically. You know, um, you know, basically cyborgs or superhumans or robots that look like human beings will basically be walking around the streets and absolutely normal. So it is going to be very interesting. I, I actually think that because of how young our population is, uh, you know, we will catch up very, very quickly. Um, I think it's a matter of a change in mindset, and that I think is already taking place. Uh, I think our young population is extremely hungry uh, to to uh, adapt because a lot of them have also been taught in the Western world, right? So they know it already. They know how to do it. It's a matter of implementing it in the, in your own market. And that is what we are doing, and I hope that Coded Minds is that platform as well to enable and allow. You know, it has already grown quite rapidly, right, uh, within uh, our own region, uh, UAE and Saudi Arabia being the most uh, prominent, because that is where it started. Um, but I very much in the near future plan to uh, expand it in about 12, 13 different countries. Um, you know. Egypt, uh, the other Arab countries, uh, the Far East, uh, Pakistan, subcontinent, India, huge, huge plans. Uh, it, it, it's a scalable model. It, it's like any technology company, Uber, Kareem, you know how they've expanded rapidly in every city in, all over the world. It is something that is needed. Absolutely. That, that is a very, very uh, valid point actually because um, one of the things I'm adamant on within Coded Minds is that every single teacher I hire, I want them, him or her, to be under 25. The reason I have is the personal bias that I have towards it is I believe that, first of all, they're freshly graduated themselves. Second of all, they are also, they don't have any preconceived ideas. You know, they have not been exposed a lot into the life, uh, life matters. So when they teach those subjects to children, right, they, re they resonate further with children. Children don't like to be taught by extremely older uh, people, and that is a fact of life. That is an older way of doing it, right? Which I have. I'm also a part of that old, old uh, method, old generation. But this new way is uh, very much. It is. It, it is. It is. And at the same time, it creates jobs rapidly for a young economy. So well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I want. I want. Coding for everyone, right? Coding is something that will be necessary for everyone, no matter who you are, no matter what you do. Be it your doctor, be it your teacher, be it your engineer, you name it. Coding will be necessary, right? Because it'll it'll impact every aspect of our life. The programs behind them, the software will will, will impact every aspect of our life going forward. Uh, robots will become part of human society. It is happening, no matter what. Uh, singularity is a very pop is a, is an event that is taking place in 2045 in a few year, in decades from now but that is an event when actually robots overtake human beings in the workforce so we have to be prepared for that and we better be prepared for that. i think uh, i think saudi arabia will be at the forefront uh, the way uh, you know prince Mohammed bin salman has, has started implementing changes uh, you know we're extremely proud of him uh, and I believe the young population is an advantage. A lot of the, a lot of parts of the world, you know, the population is fairly balanced or a little bit on the older side. But we have a very young population. We should take advantage of that. So I think we should.